Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna talk about my brine shed hatchery, the way I like to do it. Um, over here I have two brine shed hatcheries along this post. Um, and I just use these um, bottle cap um, attachments. Um, you can probably look it up on Amazon. They're about a dollar a piece. And then I put this um, two-way splitter on them. Um, so when I'm, this one's ready to take. So what I do is just turn off the air like this and I let it set up for a little bit. And then I get this cord over here, this airline tubing. And then I just wait for a little bit. Okay, now that it's settled for a bit, I can start um, taking out the brine shrimp. As you can see, when you, after you let it settle for a while, um, a lot, most of the brine shrimp um, settle to the bottom, but there is some at the top as well. So I'm just gonna turn on this valve to let it drain to this container down here. Okay, and after it all drains, I just detach the airline so that I can wash this thing out. Okay, and on most things, what I like to do is actually use the water. So I just use this baby brine shrimp mesh net and just pour the water right back in to the reservoir. And I do that for about one week. I will use the water. But um, I think it's been about a week already, so I might actually change this water out. Okay, now I just take the brine shrimp that's in the net and dump it into this container of water. And finally, I just take another scoop of this brine shrimp eggs and put it in. Stir it all up, and we're good to go. All right. That's my brine shrimp hatchery. All right, let's feed some fish.